Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the crank and bottom bracket connection and what to do if your crank is really uh, squeaky. So, uh, <clears throat> to remove these ty the types of bolt cranks, you need one 14mm uh, driver. They can be 15mm in some uh, Chinese bikes, but r usually they're 14mm, just this. And then you need a crank puller, alright? Now, the mine is combined, and these cost maybe $15, $20 maximum. So, how to open it? First, you put the 14mm uh, driver in here, alright? You take the wrench, take the crank, and this might need some, some pretty heavy, a very heavy hand. So, this was pretty easy. I'm just uh, taking the bolt out now. Now, if you need to pull out the crank itself, then my tool has this very fine thread here. And uh, what you do with it is you make sure that these are lined up. So this forcing tool is lined up with the edge. So you take the tool and you start threading it in very gently because it's a very fine thread and you can actually break it pretty easily. So you thread it in, it should go, you know, pretty simple. And you thread it until you you can feel that it doesn't go anywhere un until it's finger tight. And then if you wish you can tighten it slightly with a with a wrench. Alright? So this is pretty tight. So what you do now is you thread in the uh, the pin, the forces the crank to separate from the uh, bottom brackets. I'm just going to show you real quick. So this might might need some some power to take it off because it, they do get quite in there. If it do, if it does this sound, don't worry too much. Probably haven't broken it yet. All right. And now at one point it starts going. It's it's very hard, but then it starts going more easier, which means that you've. Uh, Crushed, crossed the threshold and it should be much easier to take it out. Alright, now it's quite easy. If it's if it's now finger tight, then what you do is you don't remove the crank yet. You take out the crank puller first because it's very uh, awkward to remove it later on if, it's, if you have it really, really tight on there. Alright, so you take out the crank puller. What you do now is you take off the crank should be quite easy. You can jiggle it off. All right, and there we have it. One very dirty crank. All right. Now, as you can see on the bottom bracket, we have four sides. This is a, a squared bottom bracket. All right. And uh, because this is quite dirty, what you should do is you should clean it, both these surfaces and from here. And you can do that with a wet rag or something of the sorts. So I'm, I'm gonna put it back uh, I'm gonna put it back so what you do is because uh, my gears are set for the middle ring right now you take the chain you put it on the middle ring and then you pull down and then up This might need some coercion until you're near the bottom bracket and just, then just put it in, right? But now the problem is that, as you can see, the pedals are on, on, on the same alignment, so which is bad for pedaling. So what you do is you remove it very carefully, you hold it in your hand, you rotate the other crank and then you put it back on here. There we are. So now you take the bolt, you put it in very easily nice and easy you take the tool the 14 millimeter driver just put it in do it finger tight initially now you take the wrench and you try to tighten it quite well the thing is that these cranks get a lot of force on them so if they're not uh, if they're not fixed with the right amount of force, they they may come loose, 
And what happens then is they start eating away at squares that you saw in the bottom brackets. Now, if that happens, that usually means that either the crank arm or the bottom bracket is going to sort of uh, give out because one of them is made of aluminium, which is the crank arm usually, and that's much softer than steel, which is the bottom bracket. So that's the easiest way to uh, check your crank, or if you just have to change it with a, a different uh, crank altogether. Or if you want to clean it, just take it apart, put it back together, and make sure that the pedals are aligned up correctly. This is especially important when you have the ISIS drive bottom brackets. Four square, they're pretty, they're pretty simple. Also, as a side note, um, some of the newer bicycles have hex driver bolts here and they usually are 8 millimeter. So it helps to have one of these, but these usually come standard in a hex driver uh, set anyway. And uh, a hex driver set is, if I'm not mistaken, between 15 and 20 dollars and you get about 10 of them. Uh, on and with that small um, that one small set you should be able to fix pretty much any problem that you might have on your bicycle all right thank you very much for watching I'm sorry that this was so long uh, I hope you enjoyed it enjoyed it thanks